Yo, what is going on guys? Mike, you're here back at again with another video. And today this is my S1X custom camo tutorial and download pack video. I just want to say before we get into this, it's not difficult to make these camos. They're pretty simple. If you have any trouble with creating these, I said it towards the end, but I want to say it in the beginning because some people don't watch the entire video. But if you have any trouble, feel free to DM me on Twitter. I have no problem helping you guys out with these. They're not very hard to make. They're very tedious, sometimes a little difficult to get what you want, but, but if you have any questions or problems, like I said, feel free to message me on Twitter. I'll help you to the best of my ability. I just want to clarify that at the beginning, because like I said, some people don't watch to the end of the video. Anyways, let's get right into it. Before we get into this, I just want to say, obviously you have to have S1X and Photoshop is a must. You really need Photoshop. You don't have to have it. You can have any other, you know, program, but I'd prefer Photoshop. It's 50 million times easier to use Photoshop. So first you're going to want to download my S1X camo pack. There's about 167 files in this camo pack. I replaced almost everything I could. I am going to be working on some more stuff in the future, but as of right now, this is what we got. So in the camo pack, this is what we have. You have, you know, some ghost camos, as you can see, Damascus, and then I have every MW2 camo on here. So now we're gonna get into the animated camos. If you've seen this on Twitter, I took Jackpot and I basically made it with COD teams. And that's one of the camos. Another camo is Dark Matter, if you've seen it in my trick shotting video. Same thing, Exclusion Zone. And same thing with DM Ultra, I just called it lol. So I'm gonna start this off. Once you download my camo pack, if you don't wanna make any camos, all you do is open up to where your S1X is. Right here, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, click S1X images and literally you just open the WinRAR, control a drag and drop that's literally it if you just want to use the camos now when it comes to actually creating your own camo when it comes to the static camos it's kind of the same way as iw4x just drag you know save and then throw it in the folder but when it comes to animated camos as you can see here there's different like weapon layouts that you kind of have to follow it gets a little complicated when you're starting to make certain camos because specifically with exclusion zone some stuff looks green on some weapons and some stuff looks black it's really weird i can't explain it but i'm just going to show it on the screen and with the animated files you have to make it for each individual weapon and it takes a good amount of time so i'm only going to show just a few weapons here and there anyways i'm going to show you what it looks like for a static camo Literally, you just open your Photoshop and then you take any camo you want from my camo pack. I'm going to swap out this one right here. So all you do is just take it, drag it, and it opens. Boom. So when you have what you want to make the camo, for example, I have everything from ghosts in a little folder here. I'm just going to take this camo, for example. Literally, you just drag, drop, file, save as, and then you would do PNG. And then wherever we took, we took, it would be Camo Urban. We're going to replace that. File, save as, OK. And we're going to do the same for the other file. So that was the camo. Now this is the menu icon right here. And literally, that's it. It's super simple. When it comes to like actually creating your own camo with like your own shapes, your own design, that you have to be a little more creative with. I'm not really gonna show that because I'm not very creative. And then when you're done, you open up your directory, which should be right here, S1X, images, and you would take the two files that you made, drag, drop, and I would be replacing. So when it comes to creating an animated camo, I rip the files directly from the game using a program called Greyhound. So if you pre-ordered World War II, you were given a special zombies camo. This camo was literally just like a purple electricity camo. All I'm going to be doing is putting that into Advanced Warfare. So you're going to want to go back into Photoshop. And this is where it gets a little tricky. Um, first, you want to drag the certain whatever into Photoshop. So for example, there's 43 files we have to change. You know, for the video's sake, I'm only be doing a few of these. So like I said, we're going to be doing the electric camo. So I'm going to take the AK-12, drag and drop it into Photoshop, and then something like this is gonna pop up. Now, in order to get the right image that you want, what I personally do is, is I will go create a little rectangle about the size of the shape, and then I am going to create a clipping mask. That way the shape becomes completely black and no, nothing can be there to make my design look a little weird. And then after I run that clipping mask, I will go into the image that I want, which would be in my World War II folder, drag, drop, and I'm going to also create a clipping mask. Once I do that, file, save, change it to PNG, 
and then this would be my AK-12, and I would save and replace. And that's literally it. Creating the animated camo isn't hard. It's very tedious because you have to create 43 individual files alone. I'm going to use the moors, so I'm literally just gonna drag the moors in. Then I will create a clipping mask on the black rectangle and the lightning. File, save, PNG. Scroll down until I find my moors. And there we go, so file save. Once I'm done, all I'm going to do is go to my S1X and then take the files that I have. I'm going to find my moors, my AK-12, drag and drop into my S1X folder. And then when I'm done, I will boot up the game. So the coolest part about S1X is once you're in the game and you're creating your class, they give you the option for a firing range so you can kind of see your camo before you decide to like finish it. And that's really cool because you don't have to go into a game and like, you know, wait for the shit to start, which takes a little bit longer. Now, as you can see here, once you import the camos into the game, you're going to see these icons here. These are the camos that are in my camo pack, these top ones. And then I also have Magma, which is Exclusion Zone, Disco, which is DM Ultra, Jackpot, which is a special COD team jackpot that I made, and then backdraft, which would be dark matter. So right here, I'm gonna choose lightning, and then I'm gonna choose lightning, and then I'm gonna go into the firing range, see how it is. Now, as you can see, this looks pretty fucking cool. This is a purple lightning camo, which kind of mirrors the camo that's from World War II. I might put this in my camo pack, debating on, you know, whether or not. And as most of you guys know, I'm just gonna show you a little showcase so you guys don't have to keep, you know, messing around and seeing which is what. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed if you have any problems or any questions, feel free to message me on Twitter. I will always answer my DMs. My Twitter is down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot. I'm going to be doing more tutorials, more releases and stuff here in the future. So anyways, drop a like, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.